next on Thunder in Paradise. An infant abandoned in the wild is found by a nurturing animal. In this case, a wolf, and reared as one of its pups. We have to help him remember who he is, how he got to be with the wolves. The boy is with a man named R.J. Spencer. Find him. That boy has to die. Do you understand? What's going on? That's Tommy. Mammalia serenia. I gotta tell you how these things were ever confused with mermaids is beyond me. Although I gotta admit they're kind of cute. We've got 16 confirmed manatee out there. Well, this area hasn't been designated as a manatee zone yet. Let's designate it. Hey, thanks for volunteering to do this. Well, there's only a few thousand manatees left, right? Yeah. Anything Spence and I can do to help out an endangered species, we will do gladly. How cute they are. Hmm. I don't know if I'd want to take one out on a date. Can't believe someday they're going to be all gone. People just need to be educated. Yeah, to slow their boats down in manatee zones. Hey! Look at the signs! Hey, stop! Wait a minute! 
Radio SeaWorld, let's have a deck of rescue crew! Wrap this flotation swing around him. Go on and catch that creep! I'll be fine! This is Thunder Scare calling SeaWorld Rescue. We got a 911 on Watson Lake. Manatee hit my boat. Swimmer in the water with it. Simply, an infant abandoned in the wild is found by a nurturing animal, in this case a wolf, and reared as one of its pups. The helpless child receiving food, shelter, motherly warmth, and protection evolves as a wolf, developing their natural instincts, learning to howl instead of speak, hunt for food with the rest of the pack. Thanks to the man who rescued the wolf boy, Mr. R.J. Spencer, I've been given a rare opportunity to probe wolf behavior from a human perspective. His animalistic behavior was so ingrained, he fought us when we cut his hair and nails. And until I fashioned a garment from an animal of prey, he'd violently tear off whatever clothes we tried to put on him.
before I take you to view our wolf boy in his basement habitat, are there any questions? Professor, uh, Professor, Professor uh, Dougal, have you been able to determine the boy's identity? Who his parents were, how he came to be abandoned in the wild? No, we haven't yet determined his legal identity nor the country of his origin, but we intend to learn everything we can about him. Are there any other questions? Professor, Professor could you tell us? Yes. His animal behavior is still dominant. Oh. It'll take many years of behavior modification to rid him of it, mm -hmm. and it may never be fully possible. His howling sounds sad. That's fear. Are there any other questions today? Uh, yes, yes, sir. How long will girl. it be in... Sound the fire alarm to get the fire extinguisher. Right. Barbecue. Let them do it. We'll take the bikes while they cook. trick-or-treat
What are you doing? Eating everything. <laughs> hey, back off. Who are you? It's Keeper. Don't make this in the summit. It doesn't have to be. Just leave the boy alone and back off. Leave him alone. Him? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. Remember me? See, there's nothing to be afraid of. Nobody's gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna take you back to those people or back to that place. You're coming home with me. It'll be all right. It's okay. Back off. Okay, no problem, man. You're safe here. Go ahead and stake out your territory. some of these around you. That's it. Go ahead and close your eyes. Tomorrow we'll try bed. Dubu was foaming out the mouth when he discovered you had found the boy and taken him home. He threatened to get a court order in order to get the subject of his experiments back where he belongs. Or my dead body. Funny you should say that. That fire was intentionally set. The police found the remains of an incendiary device that was supposed to self-destruct but didn't. Someone wanted it to look like an accident. Why would anybody want to hurt him? That's a good question. Romulus and Remus, founders of the Roman Empire, were raised by a wolf. That was a legend. A lot of legends are based on stuff that really happened. Well, there's been lots of documented cases where children have been raised by animals. The gazelle boy of Africa. Kamala and Amala were raised by wolves in India. Even children raised by bears and apes. <laughs> what? What are you looking at me like that for? I want to hear more about the gazelle boy of Africa. <laughs> Did any of them grow up to be normal? Very few. It's a delicate situation. Improperly handled, they can close themselves off to the human side of their nature forever. We have to help him remember who he is, how he got to be with the wolves. But he was just a baby. No, he probably wasn't raised by wolves until he was at least three or four years old. How do you know? Well, he walks upright. If he was raised by wolves as an infant, he'd be walking on all fours. That means he had three or four years of a normal childhood. I just can't believe anyone would try to kill him. For what possible reason? Who knows what motivates some of the wackos out there? Could have been a lunatic, some nutcase. Or something to do with who he really is. He and the manatee are a lot alike. They're both endangered species. I hired you to do a job, Mr. Neff. Why is getting rid of some wolf boy so important to you? That does not concern you. You need only concern yourself with fulfilling your contract. I don't pay for failure. Ms. Hale, I told you in advance that if you want his death to appear like an accident, it would increase the risk of failure. How you do it no longer matters to me. Get help if you must. The boy is with a man named R.J. Spencer. 
Find him. That boy has to die. Do you understand? No. But I'll do what you paid me for. He loved his bath. We both did. <laughs> Spence, uh, something tells me he's not quite into clothes. Try this. It's got my scent on it. Your scent? Uh, uh, irresistible. This the one? Oh, that's it. He's sniffing it. He's tasting it. He ate it. Brew. Just joking. <laughs> hey, hey, it's working. Maybe you should distill yourself and bottle essence of Spencer. <clears throat> okay, come on, let's show everybody how handsome you look. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey. afraid of me, is he? No, he's just a little shy. He's cute. What a difference a day makes, huh? Now I have to teach him to understand the difference. Wolf. Wolf. Boy. Boy. Animals don't recognize their reflections in mirrors. It's important he realizes he looks like us and not them. Wolf. Boy. Boy. Corey, Lauren, and Josh are coming over later. Maybe playing with other kids will help. I think it might be just a little too soon, sweetheart. Wolf. Boy. Boy. Okay, I just got this off of Thunder's CompuServe link. Gordon Ralston of Ralston Aviation perished yesterday when his boat capsized in a remote coastal area. Ralston, his wife Rebecca, the couple's eight-year-old daughter Linda, and three-year-old son Tommy also drowned. How long ago? Six years. Well, that's the right time frame. Will you hear this? The bodies of Mr. and Mrs. Ralston and their daughter were recovered. Tommy Ralston's body was not found. Do you think he could be Tommy? Any photographs? Mm -mm. I'm going to see if I can dig one up. Right now, I want to go find as much as I can about Ralston in the search for Tommy. Brew, take me to SeaWorld. Yeah, come on, Lynx. I told him I'd help him out today, and I'm late already. I'll be back as soon as I can. Pulling for you guys. Hug the manatee for me. You bet. See ya. See ya. How are we ever going to find out if he's Tommy? I got an idea. Maybe we can use your poise. Let's go down by the water.
run just that way. Dad's still inside talking to the police. They're going to leave someone here to protect the boy. I just wish he could talk to us. Tell us who might want to hurt him. Maybe we can get him to tell us without talking. You mean the way Dad wanted to? With my toys? That was Gordon, Rebecca, Linda, and Tommy. They were a wonderful, loving family. What happened was a terrible tragedy. Miss Hale. Andrea. Andrea, you and Gordon Ralston were partners. More than partners. Gordon and I were like brother and sister. We built this business from the ground up. If Tommy somehow managed to survive the accident, do you think you'd be able to identify him today? Tommy didn't survive, Mr. Brubaker. Unfortunately, Tommy drowned with the rest of his family. His body was never found. It was found. After I heard about the accident, I conducted my own search for Tommy. We found his body in a dense area where it had washed up about eight miles down the river. Was there a funeral? Tommy's remains were cremated, then spread over the river that took his life. Daddy. Mommy. Mommy. Remember? Mommy and Daddy. All in the boat. Linda. Your sister Linda. Linda, Mommy and Daddy. All in the boat. Tommy. Tommy. Tommy boy. Tommy boy. Okay, Jess, go ahead. Tommy? 
I told you to get help. This was the most effective way. One boy, one shot. Apparently not. He moved. I missed. I didn't pay you to miss. You've got me running after a wild animal. I'm a hitman, not a hunter. And this guy Spencer's on him like the Secret Service. Fine. I'll get some help. But I'm getting rich on this one. I'll guarantee it. Only this time, I need him alive. I need to know if he was able to tell them anything. This has to represent whoever murdered the Ralston family. Which proves he's Tommy Ralston. Who Andrea Hale says died and was cremated. The boy is incapable of lying. Can we say the same for Andrea Hale? Hale and Ralston were partners. When Ralston and his heirs died, Andrea Hale became sole owner of Ralston Aviation. Except Tommy Ralston survived, making him the rightful heir. A motive for murder then? Definitely a motive for murder now. From the district attorney's office. That's a court order to pick up some wolf boy and return him to a Professor McDougal. I have to call the DA and check it out. Officer. That won't be necessary. Thank you. Spence. Hale's secretary said she left 15 minutes ago. She was headed for a bubble. Tommy's not in Jessica's room. He climbed out the window. Some men drove up and pulled him into a green car. He was scratching and kicking, but they dragged him away. It's got to be Hale. Get Thunder ready. Call the police. Tell them they may have a man down. You stay with Kelly. According to the DMV, Hale's boat is a 30-foot well-crafted cabin cruiser with twin inboards. I'll see if I can get a satellite contour match. If she left Campbell Marina, odds are she's going southwest. Let's find out. He couldn't have told him anything. He's barely human. He seemed to recognize you. Just do what you have to do. And do it quickly. Spence, I think I got something. 
You better come down here. I'll take the helm. Got her, brother. You were right. She's headed south southwest, about six miles out. RC for hyperspeed. <laughs> Are you sure it's heavy enough? Fill with water and sink like a stone. Well, do it. Now! What's going on? That's Tommy! Real quick, get us close! My God, I don't believe she did that! Look at yourself, Tommy. Look at yourself. That's you. Tommy. Boy. That's Tommy. Yep. That's your face smiling in the mirror. That's you, Tommy. He's learning who he is. Now he just has to put a name with a face. What about the university's appeal to get custody of him? The judge turned him down flat. He looks stellar in those clothes. You like those, huh? They're Navajo. Spends a range for him to live with the tribe in Arizona. With an old friend. But I'll teach him about the simple things first, before he has to learn everything else. That's it, you're Tommy. 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 Boy. Tommy. That's right, you're Tommy. Tommy. I don't care when he was born. I say we make the day his official birthday. Get him a cake, light candles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>